Merci. So, we put a team on Baolan last night, and this is where he was. He went out for dinner just like us. This is one of his regular joints. The guy's just a kid. Don't be fooled. Big in the Asian gang action on the South Shore. And if he's trafficking, he probably has connections in Southeast Asia. Exactement. And last night, he was joined by his pals and a new friend. We put a tail on this guy after he left the restaurant. Adrien Maguire. He's booked on at 10 o'clock to Toronto this morning. English passport. I'll let them know. Any news on whether Nanda is an imposter? Not yet. Could you keep an eye on them? We can help. Oui. On va faire une bonne équipe. Oh, Maggie. Um, I'm, I'm so sorry about the, uh, you know, um, I just, I hope... Thanks. I appreciate the thought. Okay, so, the latest on this Buddha thing. New guy, Adrian McGuire. You need to watch on him. He's arriving 1120 Island Airport. Guess that'll be you and me. Yeah. I'll do my usual total invasion of privacy. Oh, and um, Oscar Tommaso was quoted in the media today saying that the Golden Buddha is priceless, but if one were to place a value on it, it would have to be at least eight figures. It's 10 million. He's up the price. First, McGuire goes to a hardware store. Now it's electronics. I wonder what he's buying this time. Hey, we're at 1217 Laird Drive, Simpson Electronics. What do you pick up at the last stop? All right, well, same deal. We'll let you know when the subject leaves here. McGuire bought some steel tubing, milled ends with threaded caps, paid cash. Steel tubing, electronics, and paying with cash. Huh? I'm not liking the way this is going. I want to take another run at Janet. You got him? Where you go? We have some new information regarding your case. Do you agree now that the Buddha was stolen? We can't prove that. Janet, I'm really here to warn you. We are not going to stop protesting. Écoute, je sympathise avec ta cause. But isn't violence against your beliefs? Who said anything about violence? Adrian McGuire. He's one of your group? Yes. He's a friend of Nanda. Do you know what he spent the day doing? How are you spying on us? He was buying items that could be used to construct a bomb. I can't confirm the body is Ashinanda. I can't even find out how many monks named Ashinanda there are in Burma. Freedom of information as a concept hasn't really caught on with the generals. But you're fairly certain that a monk named Nanda was arrested in late 2007. Yes, Amnesty International had him in a Rangoon prison. One of your top 10 Southeast Asian hellholes. What about Adrian McGuire? Oh, much more. Thank God for open societies where technology is embraced and no personal secret is safe. Teaches electrical engineering at University of Salford in Manchester. Lives with his mother. That's suspicious right there. His name's on plenty of social activist petitions. And Nanda's plane ticket to Canada was paid with McGuire's credit card. They came over together. How long ago? Uh, three weeks. Universities are in session in England. Why isn't he in class? I'll find out. Balang. His cousins in Thailand helped Nanda to get to England. So you know him through Nanda? Yes. You know what he does for a living? He said he was in networking? Sort of. He's a major player in Montreal organized crime. Drugs, extortion, prostitution. Comment est-ce que je sais que tu me dis pas des mensonges pour que je... Oh, tu quoi? Je vais t'aider, Jeannette. I believe that you're a well-meaning person who is being misled. There is strong evidence that the real Ashinanda was killed last year in Burma. care what happens to the Burmese people? Yes. You're the only one in your group who does. 
Hello. It's me. Finally. Sorry. Where have you been? But I brought a friend to help. Hey. Sprinted walking down the stairs to the metro. Cell phone. Why didn't you tell us? I felt so bad. You said I had to be ready this afternoon. I knew we'd need another person quick. We pick, not you. I can do this. There is risk. Last time we were arrested. I've been in protests before. This is Montreal. Mounted police, tear gas. I'm not afraid. We intend to command worldwide attention. We're not playing games here. Yeah, I know. Ai, what are you doing? We should find someone else. That's fine. Ah ouais, Janet, on s'en va. Oh, and just to show I don't have any hard feelings, I won't tell anyone what you're up to. Wait. was instructed without question? Yes. It'll be all right. She's the right size. Take off your sweater. again. Here's your assignment. You enter the front doors 35 minutes before closing. You walk through the side gallery to this corridor here at precisely 5.30. You knock twice in rapid succession on this door here. Got it? Then what? Then you follow my instructions. It'll be a terrific show. I'm on the front door. Any sign of Callie? Yeah, she's coming up the front steps. Is she OK? Oh, yeah. She's in full bloom. She's about eight months pregnant. Désolé, madame. On ferme dans 30 minutes. Ah oh, oui, je sais, mais je veux juste voir le Bouddha. <laughs> Tout le monde veut voir le Bouddha. Le sac. Merci. I still don't know, but I can't. Why didn't you knock? I, I had to use the ladies. You know how it is when you're pregnant. <laughs>
Go and stand guard. No, tell me what's going on. Do as you're it... told. Adrien! What are you doing? Open the door. Be quiet. Ministry of Defense gave you the thumbs down. Adrian. Let's go. What were you doing in there? There's no time. Hello, Central, respondez. Respondez, Central. Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez sortir par la porte principale. Nous avons une panne d'électricité. Ladies and gentlemen, please exit by the front door. We're experiencing power failure. Brilliant. I knew it would work. Wait till those dunderheads at Defence hear about this. Give me the Buddha. Hurry up. Berlin, relax. We did it. Tie them up. Tie them? What? What is this? Kneel down. Kneel? You too. Don't be foolish. Put that away.